Good afternoon. It is an historic part of town and the city doesn't want it overrun with tacky signs. But store owners in Old Town say they need more signs to bring in more business. News 13's Jackie Kent is live in Old Town with one city councilor's plan to appease both sides. Kim, businesses say the number and types of signs they're able to post aren't enough. And in some cases, they've even been fined by the city for posting the signs they do have. We really want to keep the integrity of Old Town, but also be able to make our businesses visually appealing and draw people. Catherine's cachet owner, Catherine Webster, says many of these businesses in historic Old Town are hurting because city zoning rules limit the types and number of signs allowed outside and on their stores. Unless we have some sort of visual to pull people down to the end of our blocks and then also shop at the stores along the way, it's it's very, very difficult. One is on the top for the name of the business and my small size next to the door. Local stores like Plaza Gifts have posted electronic open signs like this one, but say they're not allowed to turn them on. Last year, the city hosted an online poll to evaluate how the sign regulations impact these businesses. The regulations were vague and people were being randomly fined inconsistently. Last summer, City Councilor Isaac Benton helped stop the city from fining businesses that put out more signs and displays. He's now sponsoring an ordinance upping the number of signs per business from two to three, allowing sandwich boards, small light up signs, and outdoor demonstrations and displays. The sign lim limitations are very strict in Old Town, and this is a relatively small increase uh, in, in terms of that. I don't think it's going to uh, adversely affect the, the quality and the feel of Old Town. Regardless of how small the change is, not everyone backs the idea. I am concerned. You wouldn't want a bunch of tacky uh, billboards everywhere, you, yeah, know? you know? You want to keep the historical you know, features of it. The historical and the artistic value. Right now, the city says it will continue to let businesses put out sandwich boards or extra boards without fighting them until the new rules can be ironed out. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jackie. Now, the Landmarks Commission and Environmental Planning Commission still need to review that ordinance before city councilors vote on it.